ओके बेटा तो टुडेज लेक्चर इज बेस्ड ऑन एंटी मेटाबोलाइट राइट नाउ वेन वी टॉक अबाउट द जनरल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स सो एंटी मेटाबोलाइट आर एस फेस स्पेसिफिक ड्रॉप्स दैट आर स्ट्रक्चरल एनोलॉग ऑफ एसेंशियल मेटाबोलाइट एंड दैट इंटरफेयर विद डी एन ए सिंथिस ओके सो हियर इन दिस चैप्टर वी वुड बी टॉकिंग अबाउट हाउ एग्जैक्टली दीज एंटी मेटाबोलाइट आर इंटरफेयरिंग विद द डी एन ए सिंथिस ओके सो माइलो सप्रेशन इज द डोज लिमिटिंग टॉक्सिसिटी फॉर ऑल ड्रग्स इन दिस क्लास ओके All right. Then we have methotrexate. When we talk about its mechanism of action, before we talk about it, I want you to look here. So you see. Wait a minute. All right. So you see, uh, folic acid first of all is needed, okay, and that is being converted into DHFA, and then. ultimately purine synthesis happens and then dna is made right so the point is methotrexate okay it does irreversible inhibition of dha uh, dhfa reductase and also thymidylate synthase okay so thymidylate synthase is being partially uh, inhibited uh, yeah, partially reversible inhibition and uh, of dhfa reductase it is irreversible inhibition okay now let's read about it that methotrexate is a folic acid analog that inhibits dihydrofolate reductase that is dhfr this reduces the pool of uh, uh, this thing uh, what tetrahydrofolate required for the conversion of deoxyurotilic acid to dtmp and consequently uh, you know the n5 n10 methylene tetrahydrofolate is not formed so that is actually needed in order to make up the dna right okay so the net result is indirect inhibition of dna synthesis methotrexate also inhibits rna and protein synthesis this agent also inhibits enzymes involved in folate metabolism including dihydrofolate reductase so when we talk about uh, resistance so it results from transport defects and also amplification or alteration in the gene for hydrofolate reductase now we'll talk about pharmacological properties so it is administered orally IV intramuscularly, intrathecally, it is transported into cells by folate carrier, and activated to various forms of polyglutamate. Methotrexate is poorly absorbed, uh, transported across the blood-brain barrier. The therapeutic concentration in the CNS occur only with high dose therapy or by intrathecal administration, such as to treat. prevent leukemic meningitis so you see what is leukemic meningitis as the name is telling that leukemic it means that cancer is related to it right and when we talk about meningitis it means that here we are talking about the meninges right what are the meninges meninges are the thin layer of uh, tissues that cover up the brain and spinal cord okay so that means in leukemic meningitis that thin layer of cells is going to be inflamed okay and that is that is a kind of a cancer okay all right then uh, we we will uh, wait a minute where will we uh -huh. wait a minute sorry uh wait a minute in the treatment of uh, oh my god All right. I'll start from therapeutic uses. Okay. Methotrexate is an important agent in the treatment of. No, I was not here. Wow. Uh, by okay. 
to prevent leukemic meningitis. Okay, so therapeutic uses. Methotrexate is an important agent in the treatment of childhood acute uh, lymphoblastic leukemia. All right, everybody, I must tell you here, this acute lymphoblastic leukemia is also abbreviated by capital A and LL, okay? Uh, you can say all, okay? So it's a cancer of lymphoid line of blood cells characterized by a large number of immature lymphocytes, okay? Uh, all right. So uh, methotrexate is an important uh, in the treatment of childhood acute lymphoblastic leukemia. Then we have uh, choriocarcinoma in women. So you see, this is the type of a cancer which actually raises uh, in a pregnant woman, okay, from placenta, all right? And then it can, um, it can uh, be spread out to the lungs and even sometimes to the brain, all right? So, uh, and other trophoblastic tumors in women. I'm sure um, in high school biology, you must have learned about trophoblast and all, right? So trophoblastic tumor is the tumor of those cells, okay, in a woman. So it is also uh, useful in combination with other drugs in the treatment of Burkitt's lymphoma and other non-Hodgkin lymphoma. So Burkitt's lymphoma is also a non-Hodgkin type of lymphoma, okay. Then we have osteogenic sarcoma, lung carcinoma, and head and neck carcinoma. Then methotrexate can be used for the treatment of severe cirrhosis and has been used for immunosuppression following transplantation or in the management of a variety of immune disorders, including refractory rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, Crohn's disease, I'm sure you all know that Crohn's disease is about inflammation of the bowl, okay? in the intestine all right then we have that uh, wait a minute okay so this is tech test tech two arthritis okay uh well, sorry art arthritis okay so this is when we talk about arthritis okay so as the name is indicating that it is about inflammation of the artery okay and when we say that it is tech the Tecasu uh, arthritis, it means that this is the inflammation, okay, that damages the larger arteries of uh, of your heart, okay. Let me, let me get to the image I've attached here. So, this is, you see here, this is the inflammation here, okay. And this inflammation will be causing up all of the menace, okay. So, uh, all right. So, and... And Wegener granulomatitis. Okay. So adverse effects are methotrexate is minor suppressive producing severe leukopenia, bone marrow aplasia, and thrombocytopenia. Dose monitoring and uh, leu uh, leucovorin rescue are important adjuncts to the successful therapy. So this agent may produce severe GI disturbance. Other adverse effects can occur in most body systems, that is alopecia, headache, and mucositis. Renal toxicity may occur at higher dose because of precipitation uh, of crystal, uh, crystal urea of the 7-OH metabolite of methotrexate so this is the Wegener granuloma uh, granulomatosis okay so if you look here at the symptoms it is sore eyes sore ear stuffy nose abnormal chest x-ray sore joints okay so trace of blood in the urine then we have gangrene uh, permanent kidney damage and failure lung cavities and uh, uh, would be bleeding and then destruction of the face. Okay, so these are all happening in this 
uh, type of uh, condition, okay? All right. Then we have uh, Pimitric Zip. Wait a minute. Pimitric Zip, okay? So, me mechanism of action when we talk about, the so primary action of uh, Pimitric Zip is inhibition of thyme, uh, thymidylate synthase. So, pharmacological properties are, like methotrexate, it is transported into cells by folate carriers and activated to various forms of polyglutamate. Therapeutic uses are, it is approved for use with cisplatin to treat mesothelioma uh, and uh, non-small cancer, uh, cancer of the lung cells. Okay? Papa, please go to the room. Okay. Then we have adverse effects. Okay. So myelosuppression is the main dose limiting adverse effects. Other notable adverse effects include mucositis and uh, swelling of the hand and feet, which is also known as hand and foot syndrome. By the way, hand and foot syndrome is uh, one of the, as you can say, side effects of the uh, of the uh, of the anti-cancer drugs okay so what happens is the uh, swelling happens of the hand and feet okay redness happens okay so that is treated with uh, and this redness and this swelling is treated with de dexamethasone okay so folic acid and vitamin b12 sublim uh, supplementation reduces the severity of toxicity then we have Cytarabine, okay. So it is a pyrimidine antagonist. So if you remember, the pyrimidine is one of the major bases, nitrogenous bases of the DNA. Okay. So here, this uh, cytarabine, or you can say cytarabine, okay, it is going to antagonize pyrimidine. Okay. That is an analog of uh, two prime deoxycytidine so the accumulation of one of its metabolites rsctp triphosphate this ctp stands for um, this thing cytidine okay so this inhibits the activity of dna polymerase and if incorporated into dna it results uh, in ordered function of the newly replicated dna so the terabine is most active in the S phase of the cell cycle. So when we talk about resistance, it can occur via changes in any of the enzymes required for conversion of nucleoside to various phosphorylated forms. So pharmacological properties include that it is administered IV generally by continuous infusion or intrathecally because absorption after oral administration and poor and unpredictable then we will talk about the therapeutic uses so it is used to treat acute uh, myelogenous leukemia and non-hodgkin lymphoma so the adverse effects are it is highly uh, myelosuppressive and can produce severe leukopenia thrombocytopenia anemia and gi disturbances then we'll talk about five fluorouracil and uh, flux uridine the mechanism of action is it is a pyrimidine antagonist and needs to be converted to 5 fluoro 2 prime deoxyuridine 5 prime monophosphate uh, that is also abbreviated as fdump which inhibits thymidylate synthase and thus production of DTM and DNA by forming a ternary complex between itself. So N5, N10, methylene, tetrahydrofolate, and the enzyme uh, is there. Okay, so then we have flux uridine, an analog of 5 uras, uh, fluorouracil, is a fluorina fluorinated pyrimidine. So when we talk about its resistance, so it is usually due to decreased conversion of FUMP or altered or amplified um, thymidylate synthase. 
Then we have pharmacological properties to that is 5-fluorouracil is administered IV. It is also used topically to treat skin cancers. It is very rapidly metabolized by dihydropyrimidine dehydrogenase that may be lacking in up to 5% of the patient who are more susceptible to the adverse effects of uh, 5-FU. So therapeutic uses are, it is used in certain types of solid carcinoma. The major use of this agent is the treatment of colorectal carcinoma. It is also effective against carcinoma of the breast, pancreas, liver, and others. So applied topically, fluorouracil is used to treat pre-malignant keratosis and superficial basal cell carcinoma. So adverse effect is again myelosuppressive and then uh, it can produce GI disturbance, alopecia, neurologic manifestation uh, along with other toxic effects. Then we have capacitabine. So it's a pro-drug that is converted to 5-FU once ingested. It is an oral agent for metastatic breast cancer. Metastatic breast cancer is the stage where the cancer is now spreading. Okay. And for metastatic colorectal cancer, so myelosuppression is common with the use of this agent as is the hand foot syndrome. So hepatic enzymes should be monitored as capacitabine may elevate bilirubin levels. Then we have gemcitabine. So it's a pyrimidine antagonist that inhibits DNA synthesis via chain termination and other mechanism. It is an IV agent used for treating pancreatic cancers as well as non-small cell lung cancer and bladder cancer. Myelosuppression is the main limiting effect. Then we have six, uh, wait a minute. Then we have six mercaptopurine and six thiogonine. So mechanism of action is that these are purine antagonists, okay? They must be converted to ribonucleotides by the salvage pathway enzyme hypo, uh, hypoxanthine guanine phosphoribosyltransferase uh, to produce 6 thioguanosine 5 prime phosphate and 6 thi uh, thionosine 5 prime phosphate. So 6 thio GMP can be further phosphorylated and is incorporated into DNA. This appears to be its major site of action, although the precise mechanism of cytotoxicity is unknown. So TIMP accumulates and inhibits uh, nucleotide metabolism at several steps. It can be converted into thioguanine derivatives and can be incorporated into DNA. So resistance is generally due to deficiency in tumor cells of HGPRT. Then we have pharmacological properties. So 6 mercaptopurine and 6 thioguanine can be administered orally. 6 mercaptopurine is inactivated by a reaction that is catalyzed by xanthine oxidase. In the presence of xanthine oxidase inhibitor, allopurinol, the dose of 6 MP must be decreased significantly to avoid increased toxicity. So therapeutic uses are that it is going to treat acute lymphoblastic leukemia uh, and 6-thioguanine uh, is also used to treat ALL. Like I said in the start that um, uh, it, it would be produced due to uh, the lymphocytes, okay, and acute myelogenous leukemia. Leukemia, sorry. Okay. Then adverse effects are bone marrow depression is the dose limiting toxicity. Hepatotoxicity is noted. GI disturbance occurs, including anorexia, nausea, and vomiting. Then we have. Uh, uh, Wait a minute. Then we have cladribin. It's a purine antagonist. It is, a, is an adenosine analog administered IV that is resistant to 
adenosine deaminase it's for uh, it is phosphorylated form causes dna uh, synthesis okay so this agent is used for hairy cell leukemia and non hodgkin lymphoma cladribin is transiently lymph, uh, myelosuppressive then we have fludarabine a purine antagon uh, antagonist administered iv which interferes with dna synthesis and induces cell apoptosis this agent is used for the treatment of chronic uh, lymphocytic leukemia and non hodgkin lymphoma so its major side effect is again uh, myelosuppression thank you everybody